Golden Memories of Ramelton. This video was filmed from 1972 until 1977 by Paddy Williams. And that's a photograph of Paddy there. Paddy never went out anywhere without his uh, camera. And he took photographs of people and places. And that's him with all the family there now. Paddy was married to Rose Buchanan from Ramelton. And they originally came from Gorda Hork himself. Now, I'll leave you for a minute or two to see if you recognise anybody in that photo. And that's Danny Collins' wife, Mary, there. Now, I would say at this stage that thanks is due to Anthony McCall. He put in a lot of work transferring old film onto this video. And from here on, myself, Mervyn Curry, and Danny Collins will talk you through the video. There now we have a photograph of Ramelton as it is today. And I'll leave you for a minute just to watch this. This was taken from the Rathmullen Road actually.
<laughs> and there's a steered arm from Dale. Looking well. This is taken from the square down, and there's Mrs. Fisher running across the street from Josie's. There's May Hughes and Sussie McDade there as well, and there's Charlie McGowan coming across. Is there. that Charlie there, yes, boys? Yes, And that's Jean, isn't that Jean's car sitting in the middle of the bridge there? That's Duffy's, Duffy's pub up around the corner here from the bottom of Church Street. And that was the hairdresser stated. We're over on the bridge end now. And that's the new houses in the bridge end. Coming right round and going up the bridge end. Back down again now. And there's all McFadden's Bernie's. Right on down, and that's the bridge bar. Joe Smackers, another nice wonder boxes there. And there's the two Teresas. Teresa Mooney and Teresa. Patterson, ah, uh, that's right. They'd be chatting about the pantomime now or something, I bet you. Probably wondering what pubs I'll go on to. <laughs> Who's that away up there? Sure, no, that is. We were back over at the fish house now. And it's good to see you at the open again and, and uh, doing good business. I wish we all had always that sort of weather here and nothing. That was a great day, that. The day this was photographed. Now we're over at Phil McFadden's. And there's the chemist, Paul O'Donnell's, Bert Davison's, Andy Gamble's. And there's another view from Revelton, and that's taken from the top of Killy Creek. See Muppets there in the background. You see the tip of Ariel there too. That's a close up of Muppets. Back out at the loch side here. Looking down the loch. That'll be taken from out, out round Crohan. And that's part of the side. And here's the pony and trap and net. Ned and McGurry and the wife. A nice trotting wee pony, wee paddle. That's the same post to Killy Donald Friary at the top of Killy Creek. That road there would go on over to Crohan, Shelfie, Fort Stewart. And you can see the background there, that's all over at the lagging. to have a bell and the bell was stole and was threw into the loch, loch and 
Once every seven years that bell used to ring. And anybody that heard it ring it, they before seven years was up. Chile Prairie attracts a terrible lot of tourists every year. They come from all over the place. And there's a new car park there at the entrance. And it's thanks to John Murray. John, of course, was reared and bred in Remelton. And it's thanks to him that that new car park was made. He got a bit of the land there from Raymond Lowe and got it all built up. Now he holds three or four cars where years ago you wouldn't have got the hair down. It was sometimes they would have had to carry the coffins into the graveyard from the main road. The present farming was done by Anthony McCallum there, and I think he made a very good job of it. Uh, it, it, it was very, very it. good, yeah. He must have spent a lot of time. He really must have all right now. The quality is good. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm just wondering, is that bell still in the loch, or is it, where would it be now? Well, folklore has it anyway. It's never been found anyway. Supposed to be still there. That shows you part of the car park there, and, that, and those railings, and the crosses on the top there. That's all, all uh, paid for by John Murray. And I think uh, our thanks are, are due to him for doing that. That was badly needed. That's a view up the loch towards Letterkenny. And that's looking down from the top down onto the Friary. We're going down the loch now, down towards Rathmullen. In the background there you'll see the Unchained and the Hills of Emishon. Ah, here we are at the Weir in the Revelton. Many of the time we stood there and watched the salmon going up. Unfortunately, there's not so many of them these days. Ah, here we have the Sea Link Ferry. That ferry now would have been probably carrying people coming back to spend their, their holiday in Old Remelton. And we'll be coming to that very soon. And here we start with some of the yachts and boats that came up from farm to the quay. This is uh, some of the farm that's now been done by Paddy Williams, moving on to last year now. Good, uh, uh, yeah. there's Pat Buchanan. We're now on Older Mountain. And there's the boats, they're all tied up. Some of them coming off and going up to Conway for a pint before they head off again. That's that we, uh, Johnny McCann, that's Johnny. That's, that's Johnny, that's right. And there's Pat having a fight. That's Katrina McDeal and Anne McFadden there. That's, that's right, the bicycle. Oh, look, Noah, uh -huh. with a bottle of stout. Ah, Mrs. Conway coming across the shore road. Tides well in there, then. Aye, looks nice when the tides are on. All those mm. material, the tides you've kept on there, man. 
But I couldn't be careful. That's Susan, that, what's your name? Nancy Boyce, they're Tony's daughter and Martin Williams, the least cut nephew of mine. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's about 18 years Waving ago. Waving to the camera. Oh, those are, those are uh, Dr. Dallas ponies. Right where Ann Campbell now lives, Ann and Bert. And that's out at the football field. For Mrs. That's that? My mother, my Your mother is right. Look, she's, she's what a can to water. Uh, we had no water in the house at that time. We had to carry all the water. McCloy's donkeys. That looks like a mule. That's Kevin Cole by Kathy and Kathy Boyce. Oh, right and that'll these. be McCloy's cows, I suppose. Yeah. And McCloy, that's geese. It's back in Maggie Lowry's house again. Oh, down the football, football field. Mm. That's Mrs. Paddy Buchanan. You're down at the wee bridge. Oh, look at Mrs. Hannigan, out over the half door, huh? And we George Gallagher, and there's Kelly's lorries away down past. That's the, that was taken there at the time of the building of the new houses over the Kill Lane. And if you look at the corner, you'll see the remains of the old house where Mrs. Kelly used to live. We're back now in the, in the Gamble Square again at Fowles. And that's, who's the set that's done that? Katrina. And the bicycles around the square. You see that white? That's part of the old way bridge that used to be under that one. There, that white knob is still there. That's Paddy Williams' wife going across the street there. Is that who yeah. that is? Uh, we're back over in the bridge end there again. And back at the waterfall. John Sheridan's used to be there, the petrol pumps, Campbell's, the barrack, McCray's. And there's the fish house again, Shore Road. See the difference it makes when the tide's in there and how nice it looks? Big difference. That must that must have been taken seventeen or eighteen years ago, I'd say that. Around that time, all right, then. Uh, That's my son Barry when he was in a brand, so it's definitely eighteen years ago at least. Uh, now, and we're back out in the football field now. See the rail around, money is a good way game of football was played there. But in my day, there used to be a hole in the, in the side of it. Wasn't very but it's flat all leveled out now. Wasn't very flat then, was it? Wasn't too flat in those days, no. Oh, look, Mrs. Jessie Davison sitting on Pat's knee. Who's that smoking? That's Wally Swinney's, her brother Paddy's, and there's Yarvin Swinney's, son of Paddy Swinney's as well. Oh, there's Charlie, Charlie McGade at the corner there. And that's the pump down at Buchanan's, there's the water pump. That's Phil McFadden sitting on the steps. Who's the settlers down there? Eamon Coyle is out visiting the White Lee, the son of Paddy Coyle's the back lane, Kelly Green Farmer. Oh, uh, that's some heading off. That's Sassy McGeady again. Mm -hmm. She's going for a run on the bicycle now. She's going for a run on the bike. Uh. That's the big brain, how is that? No. The family. Damn, they got more hair there than he has now. Yeah, he has now, yeah. Just like for myself. Ah, <laughs> oh, the Regatta Day in Rathmore. Letterkenny Band. I wonder can you recognise anybody in that? Three or four 
Lisa Conley, now it's Lisa McGee is in it, and Donald Gamble's wife's in it there as well. It's in the back. Oh. That must be a good, good bit back too, that. 15, years, huh? There are swing boats in the background there. And that's the pier. And all the sailing boats and motor boats. There's the speedboat even. It'll probably be one of Brown's boats coming back from the Scorsum to Fawn or Von Cranach. That's Teresa, the band again there. Teresa and Mrs. Gamble there, Audrey, mm. isn't it? That house was built by Peter Corn. It's now occupied by Hugh Gallagher. That's taken from uh, New Mill Road coming into Remelton. That's surely Mrs. McGarvey. Annie Coleman, isn't it? That's right, Mervyn. That's just outside her house, the White Lee's Nets. Uh, Anthony, Dunworth, Anthony Dunworth with Terry Tolm there and Trevor Dunworth on the right. So it gives you an idea how long it would be. Mm. That's Trevor there, he doesn't look very old there. Daddy Tolm again. Oh, uh, yeah. You see even the flared, the flared trousers or slacks. That was the time of the flares. Yeah. That taken out at the White Lees? That was taken outside Annie's house. Look at the flowers and all the garden. The oh, well must have been there as well. <laughs> there was summers at that time. Mm. You know that's for America? That's Thomas Hart, sure. That's some, right? Mm. That was my own wedding. What was it? Uh -huh. There's no. That's Jim Murray. They're taking the photos. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, you're right. And that's Danny and Mary. How long ago was that, you say, uh, Dan? Uh, well, we're married uh, 21 years. 31 years. Uh, 21. 21? Yeah. <laughs> Jim Burney. That's Jim Burney again. Uh, Family must remember. Uh, uh. There, Kevin Patterson, there, Tony Boy, Steve Dunworth, that's Jean, and Christy, Mary's sister, they were the two bridesmaids. Uh. Eddie and Eddie. Eddie and Eddie, yeah. Uh. That's down outside the mall for them, that's my sister Eddie in there. That's where the reception was. Uh, the mall for them, the second wedding on it, actually. Mm. The Volkswagen car, eh? Maisie Hannigan. Maisie Hannigan. That was me getting the send off there, Myrna. That's it. Mm -hmm. Wasn't Wally Payton involved in everything? You seemed mm -hmm. his old carry on there. Yeah, he's always there, uh, yeah. The picture quality is just hardly as good there as uh, the earlier one.
but of course the phone was old. Give you a right rough send off there, Dan. That was a rough send off now. This is us moving back up to St. Mary's Terrace again there, along oh. the terrace, man. Oh, yeah. Mm. Who's that? That's a wee Scots father and that few me on. Oh, yeah. That's a sister in law, Martha uh, McLean. That's an old tractor there, Seamus Norris. She was a uh, fair person. We're back down in the prey again now. That's Doreen McKee there, Mary. Oh, yeah. That's a scene from the terrace, just the bus is going down the tank. Playing Ring and Rosie. Mm -hmm. There's no. no. Yeah. Just going into his work there. Yes, going into his work. It's Johnny again. Me, Johnny the cannon again. Going over to the yard across the street. That's wee Nan at the door there. Wee Nan McCannon. Nan McCannon, yeah. Mm -hmm. Johnny McCannon there. Paddy and Johnny. Oh, dear. Johnny McCannon there. Hey, not look at the camera. <laughs> And there's Pat again. That's Johnny coming up around the town hall. Mm -hmm. Now this is Paddy Sweeney's family and, and their backyard. Oh. Paddy and Noreen. <laughs> and there's Paddy himself. Dermot. This is, we move on now to William McDade's wedding. This is Wally Joe's wedding. Oh, Wally Joe. Uh, He's a bit nervous looking, Mervyn, isn't, isn't he? <laughs> you notice the different styles all the... Uh, the hair are different style and the, all the clothes are different style. Seem to be wide bottom trousers. Wide, the, uh, the flared bottom yeah. wide trousers. That's going into the chapel. Kevin Coyne there. That's Josie there too. Yeah. There's Joe Logan there. Glenn McDade. Yeah. Look at the head of hair Joe had in them days. And here comes the bride. There's Jim Freed and Jared McFadden. Jim never changed much down here. Did Jim doesn't change a lot now. Yeah. It's a father James from Arthur Martin. Now that's Keith McDade there and uh, uh, one of the Swinnies as well, I think it is. Mm. There's there, James Freed there, do you see? And there's himself. Big wedding party.
Danny Doherty and Maura from Clyde Bank. Charlotte Boyce there, Maggie Boyce. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Jim Hagelin. And uh, Hugo Darley. Mrs. Patty Sweeney there. Yeah. And Mrs. Andy Kerr there. Mrs. Kerr there as well, yeah. There's really, yeah. There's and there's Granny the Boyce. That's right. That's Tony. That's Tony and Wally Payton. Mm. Pat Buchanan in the middle there. Rosaline Collins. Rosaline Collins. See, Rose uh, Deborah there looking very well, Mayor. Yeah. Uh, Edward McDeed. Edward is right. That's Sean McCormick and the wife, uh, Mumford Baker. This is actually oh, Brian Baker, and Jean's yeah. wedding. Mm. We're moving on to Brian and Jean's wedding now. Eh? Charlie McDeer, right? yes, I see Charlie there.
Uh, we're moving on now to Brian Hartswetton. Brian married Susan Fries. Here. Ben Duffy, he ben Duffy. Too, wasn't he? Tommy Logan on the background there. That's right. Then these boys will always say it wasn't them, Marvin. Oh, all right. This is Jim and Jesse at the bridge end, taking outside the road. Jim oh, Boris and Jesse. Jim, Jim that Boris and Jesse, there. that's right. That's taken down at Irish Kitty, man. Oh, Kitty, yeah. Uh, some of the Scotch fries there. Look at this. 
Kevin 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 Pressure. These would be taken on the in the bray. Yeah. That was taken on Fellow's yard, that was my wee fella Barry, one the bunny baby. We oh, lived there at that time. Terry Tone beside him on the right there. Mm. That's oh, John McDade and um, Sam Burney. Sam Burney, Dish Mackey. I say the petrol pumps at the bridge end. Up at Dish Mackey. Yeah. That was the salmon and swing chair, sure. Trevor Dunmore's fastened there. That's Kathleen and Margaret Freer. That's a Graham yeah. family along the mall. Along the mall, yeah. Peggy and John were some of their family there. Yeah, there's John himself in the middle. That's Dan and Maggie Cullion with Mum and Dad. Taking it the way to East Peter Boyce. No Peter out of the office there. Out at the white lace. That's just for shade the house. In the old turkey cock.
and we're back now to the Lennon Festival. What year was that, that festival? I thought it was around 74. There's Mackie Money there on the right. Uh, that's coming in from Church Street, isn't it? Top of Church Street. There's Bert McCloy there on the uh, that. That's Thomas Hart there with the glasses on. No, it's not. It is, yeah. It is. Uh, that's a letter Kenny Town band. That'll be the festival queen. That must have been That must be one of the very early festivals. That was Mrs. Norman Lockard, not exactly the past area around there. Mm. All oh, the prizes. <coughs> That's coming around what we call Hamilton's Corner. There's Mrs. McGee again. Ben Duffy's wife, Jamie. Yeah. That's Mrs. Norman Marker there. That's ACA float. I think that does. That must yeah. be. Yeah. McGray's Laura. Pat Buchanan shouting out. That's the World Cup 94. World Cup. Or 74. 74. 74. Yeah. Tommy Logan there. 20, 20 years ago. That was Mickey Fisher's wagon he always on a bit. Mickey Collier. Seamus Norrie. Seamus Norrie, yeah. Maybe 840. Yeah. 
tractor and pick up the other. Got a helper driving it. Got a helper. For his Sammy house. Stewart on the right here. Let me get put in again. Out of his feet, and a few women started to scream. <laughs> Not enough on him. There's Pat again. In the forklift. Who'd you say is driving the forklift? David Mackey. David Mackey. There was a nice wee barn there, well turned out too, wasn't it? Very nice. There's Cecil. There's Cecil Green, yeah. Another combine. There's Mickey himself up top. This is Duffy. See Mrs. John Greer. There's Granny Boyce and, and Edith Greer and Mrs. John. Mrs. John Greer. Mrs. John In the early days, they used to march up the brae again. That's right, I don't go up the brae now, Tom. They don't go up the brae now, you know, in the earlier days they did. You're looking very well on that yourself. Yeah. Yeah. See Tom Hufferty's shop there and the glass and all and the wonders of it, eh? Look. That's right. And that's the wonders upstairs, everything. Speck and span. There. That's James McFadden driving the combine again. There's Packy Harper sitting on with his dad there. That must have been before the new houses were built up along there. Ah, it was. It must have been because you don't see them. John McDade. Billy Washington, Mrs. McClure, uh, Church Street. City. And City. City Fisher. Johnny Coyle. Yeah. That's Paddy Coyle, isn't it? That's right. Paddy always kept a good horse or two about him. Paddy Coyle
That's a Dublin yeah. festival again. Festival Queen in the Inn, yeah. I'm sure there's a, a lot of people watching this video will recognize either themselves or certain other people that they know. Even in the early days, there were, there were good uh, periods. I think there were more so then than are in this last few years. Last, uh, except for this, this present year was very good. That was a good one. Mm. Ruffle. The old spinning wheel. Wonder who that is now, your dad. That's Lord and Harley. Mickey McHugh's on this side, and we're just not sure who's on the far side. Mm -hmm. Charlie Bobberell again. The film quality is not so good in that one, but we no. thought we would show it to show the, how long it might be, see if anybody knew. You were on about an old lamppost that used to be there at the 
That's right, there used to be a lamp post in, in the middle of the square there. It was a, a lamp, a gas lamp. And a certain gentleman used to come in to Remelton on a fair day, a 15th fair day, it was the 15th of every month. And after he got a half a dozen of stouters, so he used to climb this uh, lamp post and sit up on the top of it and wave and shout to people. But uh, finally, it actually it was my father knocked it off the base with a car, the old Model T car. He used to switch her off at the top of Murfield when I was a youngster. And he had a free wheel down, and he had to clip that bottom stone of the lamp post and pre wheeled up onto the yard. Now, the base of that lamp post is still at the entrance to the cellar uh, bar. Cellar bar is right. There's John McDade again there and Paddy Norrie. Hmm. Yeah, uh, Buchanan's shop was opened at that time. That's Charlie Donnelly there on the right, coming walking coming down. Coming walking there. down, uh, Charlie Donnelly, yes. Charlie McCall, candid camera. Yes. That man doesn't know what to get up to, does he? <laughs> You see, that used to be Jared's house there in the Swilly office in the corner. That's all gone now. And years ago, there was a shop. A shop there belonged to uh, the present Mrs. Nora Black's father and mother, because I remember buying sweets in it. How long would that be ago? Oh, uh, must be, what, 60 years ago, now. Anyway. up there now that they're all gone, you see that? Who owned them houses on that left? Oh, it was where Gullers used to live. There used to be petrol pumps up around the corner there, where, where Gullers used to live. And uh, Charlie McFadden, Jared's father, had a shoemaker shop up there at one stage, and then Seamus Norrie had a shoemaker shop up there. But those houses are all gone now. That's where the car park is at the moment, opposite Duffy's oh, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Massey Ferguson being money to one of those I sold in mid-eight. You were involved in that type of work, weren't you? Oh, surely. Twenty-five years. See, There's a tractor I bet I sold that in the mid-eight. Just watch the shot over the corner there to see Mary and Molly Haggerty standing up at the corner there as the vehicles go by. You can see them. Oh, right I see corner. that, yeah. Hmm. There's a seat drop behind that tractor with a rubber tire on it. Another combine. That's more than likely Sam McCloy's, I would say. That's Sam had a lot on it at that time. Yeah. What did you call this uh, wooden what, horse is it or what? Uh, and it's an old, old horse reaper behind it. But just to uh, have another look there, do you see the house there that's gone now where... That used to be the Swilly office years ago. Look, Swilly office.
Have you any idea how long that would be down? I wouldn't have a notion. I uh, forget my There's Charlie McCall, Mo Geller there. Charlie up on Danny the Cohn, right television on. cameraman. And his son Anthony's carrying on the old tradition. That's for sure. He does it on all videos and weddings and whatnot. Yeah, we're down at the bottom of the bray again. That's Barry Cohn and there's a baby. Now there's a shot along here, John Boyle of the Terrace is on it. If you watch closely, you should see him passing up. That's nearly past there. There's yes, Elizabeth Humphrey uh, the there too. And uh, there's my father, Dan Cohn there as mm. well. Jim Freed there, Freed. see. Sean Norrie there as well. Patrick Williams. That's what the... That's John McFadden, always known as Funny, the bridge in there, man. Oh, yeah, John. This is Crone and Adam, Lehman's son was his mother, uh, Mrs. Edmund Adam, taking outside the pub in the Bray. In the Bray, yeah. Crone was very old there. at the closing dance in the town hall. This is from my age dancing here. Uh, and get uh, taking the gamble square. I don't know who they are, but I'll bet there's someone watching who will know. The back where Jim Bernie and I used to operate from. That was in the early years of the festival. Early years, yeah. Uh, that was Antoine passed across the camera there. The gym. They were very well turned out too, weren't they? Very nice. This is Anne Marie McGee, that's Teddy and Calvin's daughter, dancing. That's Anna Goller there, standing on the wall with her hands up against that wall there.
see all the little slacks there, all flared, very wide bottom. This is a knockout taking place there now. Now that was down at Gamble Square too. That's right, somebody in an odd duck in there. Mm. <laughs> there seem to be far more crowds there in attending functions. Uh, in the resident in the day. Mm -hmm. That's some reunion snaps now we're coming on to the time the Clay Bank people came over there. Uh, they used to come a big uh, couple of bus roads on at a time. That's right, the first time. For the festival. Mm. Jim Irwin. Yeah. That's Jim and Bobby and Mike Cairns and away from that photo as well there. Yeah. I think the first time they came that six buses was with them. That's Jim Swinney and Jim, Jim Sweeney, Blair. Yeah. Uh, an uncle of Jim Swinney. I'm not sure who that is. That's a Clyde Bank couple there. There's John and there's Johnny Green and Mrs. Freed. And Jim Bay. Jim Bay in the background. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Brian Hart there. Nancy Boyce. Um, some Scottish fans are in love with them there. That's Caddy's home again. Kevin's wife Kevin was Joanne Joe. and Terry. Mm. Mm. There's Kevin
There's wee Margaret McKeever there to your right, the picture. Jim Irwin giving out instructions there. Six buses came from Scotland for that reunion. before nor some sign God. This is a famous Melton team. Bridget Boyce, Rose McGarrow, Eileen Boyce, Mary Duffy, uh, Jamie Duffy and the anchor man is a or woman. We'll get her in a minute. And I got her, is that right? Sorry, no. we didn't get her rank yet. Eileen Freeze, the anchor woman. Oh, right. the Melton team that year. Mm. This is a Scotch team. I think there's more pushing than pulling though. Mm. There's Wally Peoples up there. Same as Norrie. Oh, yeah. Let's keep it 
bicycle races used to have like about 100 entries at that time. Does it, yeah. Any time band was very much part of Ramelton, if anything was on over there. Nice yeah, there wasn't so many bands uh, in those days as there was today. Not really. Now we have our own time band mills that'll go a long way. Yeah, and carry on. Mm -hmm. And that's some more Irish dancing. That's uh, Anne McFadden, uh, uh, Anne McFadden, and uh, there's another couple I'm going to get their names maybe in a minute. Eugene Norrie at the front of the picture yes. is talking to Eugene Danny Norrie. That's Mick Yarns talking to myself there. There's a lot of faces in that I would know, but I couldn't put a name on them. That's a problem, and these fellas are putting a name too. Mm. That's why Volkswagen car was done at McLaughlin driving past there. Must have done yeah, most of the yeah. Now them three dancers are Anne Marie McDade, Anne McFadden and Siobhan Brown. I think it's 
Sam number one and Marie number two and Siobhan number three. This is uh, the reunions going away again. Um, they're going to bus now and bus again. Oh, yeah, they're going, going, going back. Tell me, Fred. Tell me, at that time, was one of the main organisers of. Uh, you Johnny, you before he, before he moved down to England. Uh, that's right. Uh, you Johnny, you Patsy Ainge, you Patrick William, mm. Eugene Norrie. That was the four main movers on it now. Plus the women, of course. There, there was five or six women as well. It, it really helped the town. Like It, it was good to see them come. Oh, it all brought money to the town. It certainly did. And I'll tell you, they spent money when they came. They did. That's him and Coyle there, just outside the bus. Mm -hmm. That's one of the buses moving off. ready for the road. This is on having a right over me so here before they go. Before they go. Jimmy Boyle in the middle there and see Jimmy there. That's right. Uh, uh, I think if you watch this, uh, Sally Hunter's coming, uh, Sally's coming with us to join them. So that's for Elizabeth. Or Elizabeth, sorry. Yeah, Elizabeth, Elizabeth is swinging the leg as well. So um, it may be a bit later on, but I know she does. Uh, no bother there at all. Down in front of Overy's Bar. Uh, some more of the reunions right along with Hugh McCall. There's Jan Boyce there at the square. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. So see, see the blue miner, that's Joe Boner. That's right, uh, that's uh, Joe. Gerald, uh, Gerald, money boss. The Volkswagen money boss, yeah, uh, it was. Yeah. There's a good shot there, Jan. That's uh, Anna there beside him. There. This is Tommy Keane, and that's two sisters of Tommy Keane. Hugh Miguel, like a gunslinger. That's Eileen and that's Steve on Dunworth and Crutches now he broke his leg that time and that's Mary Far Barry now. Oh, there's Pat again. That's that used to be Gallagher's house there, that's right. That's right. That's that. right. That's right. And you see the door there, that was Jared McFadden's house. There's uh, Joyce and Mrs. Jam and Charlotte and Maggie boys over in the doorway of Mrs. Mimi and Gary there in the cafe doorway. All the cases there, they're gathering up for going away again. That's right. That's 
Mary Ann McFarrow. That's John. John Lee did. John used to be a great man for ten years, old stories. That's right, there's Paddy Norrie and Jimmy Fisher. <sighs> That's Johnny Coyle. Johnny Coyle, George Street, uh, and Patty here. Yeah. See where the music was on this one. Give them a blast in the bus, I would say. Yeah, that's true. Just fancy sitting in the background there. That's the uh... end. Jesse and John went up to the one in front of us, Mario and Patsy. Eugene and Danny, darling. Maureen and me and Maggie's boarding along with City Heights, Batsy in the back there, Mike Yarns. Mike never forgot where Malcolm wants to start to come, he can't come. Mm -hmm. His meat died the first year, I think that's what brought him closer to it. They died over here at the reunion. Danny Doherty was his name. Probably, oh, yes, 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 they have cured themselves. That's Sally Hunter way past there. Jumps for Nicky Freight. That must have been uh, around about yeah. the middle of 70s or uh, 70, around that. 74, 75. 74, 75, because you see the, the, the cars there are Cortinas and, and Hellman Avengers. Right. Escorts. Margaret and Bill there, I see. That's right. And the two guide dogs. They were great dogs, those. They seem to know what they're doing, anyway. That's your wife there, Mr. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's Sam as well. There. And another one heads up. <laughs> he <laughs> looks so happy. He's still happy. That's He's William McFadden, Joe Keller. <laughs> Patsy and Charlie was yeah. selfish. That's himself again. And Benjo. And Benjo. Now this is the photo here, Mrs. Tommy Alford, Mrs. David, Mary McCall, but we don't know who the fourth woman is. That's Francie and Peggy Dan, uh, myself and Mrs. Minnie. 
Look at Charlie, boys, he's always up to something, isn't he? Yeah. I don't know what should be done with that man at all. Must have made his own embarrassed. Where do you see this one now? coming up, what he gets up to? He made his match and that's one I think all the same. Down you go. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping respect, seeing enough. I used to be on the buses over with the man that was just singing steady from start to finish, you know. Yeah, this is us now over and played bank at a reunion. When the, the mountain people went over, uh, it's taken and played bank in one of the community centres. I think it's singers, maybe. At uh, some shots of it. I see it rains over there, too. Oh, it's certainly so. Uh, that's all weather patches where the football games were held. Mm. The shots are a wee bit far off and that's now they're not as easy recognised. But it's just the uh, shot we should put it on seeing as we went over there as well. Were you over on that up there, Dennis? I was, uh, that no. was, I think that was actually the second. The first one was to Glasgow. And we made a part that was there. Uh, and uh, one of the big halls in Glasgow. So that's Paul McGill there. He came to the front of Victor when he was a wee fella there. Mm. But the first one took place in Glasgow, and the second one, we moved to Clyde Bank. It was much closer when we moved to Clyde Bank. And mm. <coughs> we really enjoyed our weekend. Sort of eating and drinking all the time because you were asked to house us here and there as well. Same yeah. as over here when we went over to. Mm. There is an awful lot of Melton people around Clyde Bank, so that's oh, totally Oh, it's a Clyde Bank in Glasgow. You could hardly go through Clyde Bank without meeting somebody you know. Mm. So That was a football match that took part between the Melton and uh, people and Faye Bank people. There's a bit of that, a good crack. Someone wants to part them there. Hugh McGill, Davey Cole, Charlie McGill, Danny Cole, Cecil Greer, I think even Benjamin was not one of the way And then Anthony McGill, Paul McGill, there, Charles McGill. There's Sean Norrie was his back. The flow gallery there coming towards the front. Uh, it's a sister, Sonny Gallery, and Joe Gallery, and that Sonny should be in that as well now. Eh? But there's she clearing up the light. Who won the match? I don't think, the, I don't think anybody <laughs> could say, there's Charlie, yeah. there's Charlie about to take a go of shower, he's mm -hmm. playing the game too. Who he was playing for, I don't know, because he's scoring every way he faced. A lot of a bit of a fun run, huh? That's what it really was, uh, 
There was nearly trophies for everybody, actually. That's the three in the Sanger station passing there. The community centre was on below the station just. I'm going to make the algae and answer the water. Mm. There are many Maradoners or Georgie Bass on it, isn't it? Yeah. That's Charlie getting it up for himself. <laughs> How many, how many went over on that trip? There's about three, but I remember at, at the time, I think it was 135 people went over. From the town? From the town and surrounding area. There's a lot from Ballyar now. I think mm. Lally Dornan was there and Gerald and uh, Olive Dornan. They were all over as See, well. See, you had no nets on just to go no, for it. <laughs> I think they were more interested in getting anti bars and playing football, really. Yeah. I'm going to have an outcry, I can't say. That's a ladies' game. We had a ladies' game as well. Uh, I can't even remember who won that either. I know it doesn't matter that much. Well. You're melting ladies against Craig Banks' ladies. ladies. Do you remember the names on the other ladies that were on it? Well, there's uh, some of it. Was it Nancy McGrath? I think Nancy was over. Rose McGrath. Uh, Eileen Boyce. Uh, Eileen McGarvey. And uh, just off hand, it's hard to remember. This was a uh, uh, tug of war again. Uh, and Clyde Bank. That Johnny Freed was well, in fact. Uh, ah, that's Johnny. You always know Johnny is here. That's was always right, uh, uh, really. That's right, no. You can pick him out. Um, that must have been before he went down to Livermore. Oh, it was. I just went down. That's Jim Irwin. There, Jim was over as well in Dublin. That's Charlie McGowan. This is uh, the ladies' tug of war. I think that's Bernadette McGowan. The back maybe there now. Do you remember who took the, the film of that? That was Paddy as well done the filming, but and that's what he really done. He just came back out of the way more where he should have been maybe moving on. But mm. as um, when it comes to going home time again, you'll see some of the people that were over. That was an egg and spring race. That's, uh, let us see, who was that? That was one of the McLaughlin's there, I think, in that one. But, um, the crack was good and the fun was good. Good weekend, that was the main thing. Everybody enjoyed themselves. That's what they call a skipping race. That's huge. Now, this is down at the uh, Bogues Hotel where we left there. Sunny there to your left, at the, or right at the front of the picture. And Hugh's there. I'm not sure who's behind. This is when we're waiting on the bus going home again. Charlie Boyce. Uh, you see, Patsy, you see yes, some Patsy. people coming out that were over there. A lot of them now stayed in Glasgow as well, so we only picked a few of them up here. Jim Friend. This is uh, John Joe's bus now. There's John Joe himself, that's mm. right. John Joe looks very young in that, I think. Mm. There's Cecil there going towards the bus. Uh, Johnny Gar, Johnny was over as well. Johnny over. Uh, 
Getting ready for the homecoming right, again. Huh? That's Bobby Yarvey. Bob since passed away as well. Mm. Bob, any time we were over now, Bob always came to see us off too. That's why Maggie McGee was there. She was always there at Jump. Again, this is him in the Donald's wedding now. That's just before he left. There's Robbie, there's Colin Sheridan. It's just before he left the house because these were shots that were taken at the bar just before he left. Well, but they, they lived in the house there. They lived at the there. At, yeah, they lived, but this was before he was married. Before he, he was married. The actual wedding photos is not here now. It was just taken from the house school. And there's Robbie there, the guy and his auntie Frida. Mm. And Colin Sheridan in the background there. Uh, Dan McGarvey, Wally Payton, there's Eamon Waven there. Eamon Waven, yeah. There's Con Sheridan's young fella there, in all his arms, he's about six foot now. See Hugh in the bar door there. Ah, uh, Hugh in the bar door. There's Mrs. Freeman and, uh, and Danny, Danny McGarvey. That's Hugh there coming out the door. Mrs. O'Donnell. And Edmund coming out the door at the back there. Mm. These, these are very clear photos. Just a pity we hadn't got the actual wedding, but as I say, the wedding was up in Drunkeen. Oh, yeah. And uh, that was just shots was taken before he left. That's Mrs. Donald getting into the air. Mm. See, Mervyn, the old house, before the houses were finished, up along the way there. You see that, huh? There's Ethna there, thank you. That's Robbie walking around there at the car. That's myself and Wally and Edmund. Myself and Eamon. Eamon Cohen something there. There's Aileen Boyce in the background there. The bridge in now, you know Aileen the bridge in. That's Mrs. Caters and the Terrors on there as well, look. Mm. And that's him coming there. Mervyn, I'll tell you them how dear Robert McBerty now you can go rest and mm. remember the bar there. Ah, that does Mrs. Caters and all right. I was telling you about them houses are just oh, there, built, there. as you can see there. Look. The houses on the brave being built. Right, uh -huh. yeah. So that, like, that would give people an idea. And what, that's James Sheridan at Mung and his wife, Con's mother and father, and Con's sister, Julia. Kevin mm. yeah, the come and walk down there. Kevin is a wave. That's Edmund, the door. Edmund didn't he change much in all the years, mind you, did he? Oh, Edmund hadn't changed a lot. Now, this is uh, Ger um, Gavin McFadden's wife, and Mrs. Freeland, Harry began, and Jim Burney there as well. Mrs. Donald, the one. This is just shots now, I think, uh, that have been taken. There's Nan began and mm -hmm. back to moving again. There's a good pump. Uh, that's Patty. See, that's a couple of daughters of Bob's now. I'm sure somebody will know who they are now. I'm not sure. That's um, one of the sectors. 
Now that's Jane Freed, Mrs. Jamie Freed, across from Dennis McLaughlin's. You remember her, Mary? Oh, yes, yes, yes. That bell now used to be in the chapel out in Kelly Green, and after Kelly Green Chapel was closed, the bell was brought in and installed there. Now many of the local people you have seen on this video have since passed on and are laid to rest in cemeteries far and near. Our sympathy goes out to their families and friends. May they rest in peace. This now completes our film, Golden Memories Over Melton.
and our thanks are due to Anthony McCaffell and Danny Cole for all the time and effort spent in getting the old phone transferred to video.